Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Honor 6X with me and in this uh, video we will be doing the gaming review with this uh, device. This Honor 6X uh, runs on the custom Kirin 655 chipset which is an octa-core uh, processor and it has the Mali T830 GPU and we are going to play these uh, four games to see how it performs in gaming. So let's start with Dead Trigger 2. So this is Dead Trigger 2. And one thing that I really like on this uh, device is the screen quality. No, it's just a 1080p screen, but the screen quality is actually uh, very good on this one. Let's lock some grenades. And as you can see, no problems playing this uh, dead trigger. So as you can see, we are having a good experience playing this uh, game. So it will play this dead trigger fine without any issues. Uh, let's now move to some heavier games. So this is Modern Combat 5. Let's see how it handles this one. So far so good, I noticed no lag. We'll also check the temperatures later on to see if it's exhibiting any heating issues. But as of now, no heating issues that I'm noticing. So continuing. And as you can see, I'm noticing no lag on this game. So that's a good thing. So you should have a good experience playing this uh, game. So as you can see, you'll have a good experience uh, playing this game. It's handling this Mortal Kombat 5 uh, without any issues. Now let's uh, move to Asphalt 8 and see how it handles that one. So this is Asphalt 8 and uh, we're going to play it at the highest graphic uh, settings and I'm going to use the on-screen steering. So this is the Tokyo level that we're going to play and uh, let's see how it handles it. And I notice uh, quite a bit of frame drops with this Asphalt 8 on this highest graphic setting. As you can see quite a bit of frame drops when there is a lot of action going on. It's playable but uh, again it's not the smoothest uh, gameplay I would say. So again as you can see it's handling it but again when you drive the drifts and stuff it is dropping quite a bit of frames with asphalt 8 so again that's uh, going to be your experience with asphalt 8 it's playable but again certainly not the smoothest experience uh, that you'll get it will drop a lot of frames at this high graphic uh, setting so let's do one thing uh, let's uh, also check the temperatures now and uh, the ambient temperature around this area is 27 let's look here on the screen as you can see it did touch 41 yeah 41 degrees uh, celsius is the max that we are seeing and let's look at the back the back is uh, about 38 uh, that uh, you are noticing on yeah 37 to 30 uh, 39 is the max that we saw so it's getting a bit warm but not uh, anything like very hot or anything like that so let's get out of this asphalt 8 
and let's jump to Nova 3 and see how it handles that one. So this is Nova 3 and let's see how it handles this one. So far it's good in Nova, I'm not noticing lagginess. So this level is almost done now. Let's look at the temperatures and uh, see. Uh, it's 27 degrees around this area and on the screen again that 40.7. We could say 41 that we are seeing around the screen. And back is slightly warm but not hot. And yes, it's around 38 uh, degrees Celsius. 38 to 39 I would say. 38.9 was the max that I'm noticing. So it's getting slightly warm but not hot I would say. So what do I feel about uh, gaming with this uh, Honor 6X? I would say the gaming performance is okay if you uh, sort of play uh, casual games and you are not a very hardcore uh, gamer because with Asphalt 8 we notice uh, quite a bit of uh, lag in that game but other games ran fine. So yes, some of the heavy games might lag a little bit and if you're sort of a hardcore gamer, I wouldn't recommend you this phone. But again, if you're a person who takes a lot of photographs, uh, then uh, you can consider this phone and if you just play casual games, then you can have a look at this uh, device. I'll also be posting uh, the full in-depth review for this Honor uh, 6X very soon. So if you have any other specific questions around this device, Guys, do post your questions in the YouTube comments below and I'll try to include them in my review. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.